Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the one chest challenge inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. So since we're doing the one chest challenge, um, that means I'm on vacation. I scheduled this video for today. I'm going to be on vacation for the next week. So I'm going to have a daily upload for you guys every single day. I have six more videos coming out throughout this week. We got one every single day scheduled for the same time so every day at 12 o'clock there's going to be a new video so make sure you guys drop like subscribe ring that bell for post notifications and let's get into the one chest challenge so as i'm looking for my first chest let's go over the rules for the one chest challenge Alright, now make sure you guys watch till the end of the video to see if I win or lose this game. So right here, I go to fight my first opponent. Um, I end up third partying one of his fights. As you can see, he's hiding behind that wall there. So I push up, put a stair, and as he breaks it, I hit him for 60, and then I hit him for another 60, and he ends up dying. This is where I start getting some of my mats and materials. Again, I could pick up any heals I want, I just can't take any more guns, or I can't open any more chests. So here we are, pushing the second player. He ends up hiding in this little hut, I guess. So I shoot him through the window for 48 white, and then I dink him in the head for 85, and he ends up dying. So all pretty easy kills, off start. Then we end up pushing the nitro drum. Now this is where things get a little complicated, because this kid was pretty sweaty. So I end up hitting this kid for, let's see, I, I hit him for 68 as he drops, miss the shot, miss another shot, miss a third shot, and I hit the fourth one. So I'm really lucky that kid was low, because if he was not low, I would not have won that fight. Now, we're still in Nitro Drum, and we've gotten another opponent crouching around. So I'm, I engage in the fight by missing three shots, and once I miss those three shots, I'm pretty much screwed. I hit him for 88. Hit him for 68, and then I miss. I end up being 40 health. I'm heal, and then I start healing. I think there's an opponent outside my wall, but it ends up being an AI. So I kill the bot so it doesn't distract me. Now I just have to focus this kid and get the job done. Pick up these bandages, and then he starts to run. This is what makes my job a lot easier. I hit this kid for five white, so I know I'm good to push. I start pushing him, see, see, I see he hits the zip line, hit him for 8, hit him for 16, hit him for 20, so now he's 20 white, 14 white, I push over the rock, hit him for 27, 71, and then he's out. So we're at 4 kills right now, and we're just getting started. So let's go back to Nitro Drum and see what we can do. Alright, so as you guys can see, I just took out the boss. I end up picking up the medallion because that is allowed. I don't take the bow because I can't take that. So here we are. I'm pretty sure there's some kids below me, but those end up just being some bots. So I end up pushing this bot, and another kid comes to third party. So I hit this kid for 114, trying to full piece him, but I choke up the edit. I end up hitting him for 19 white here missing the rest of my shots. I run into these blades trying to get high ground, which worked, and I hit him for 20, and then 43, and he's dead. So now we're at five kills, and we're pushing another team. These two are fighting, so I end up taking both of them out. That one was easy to kill, and this guy with one shot over here. So that makes that fight a lot easier. We're now at seven kills, just doing the one chest challenge. So now we push over to another fight. Keep in mind, I'm only allowed to use this combat shotgun, so I'm basically using this thing as my AR. Alright, so here we are. We've got to fight a mythic car now. So we're pretty much screwed. Look at this. I'm getting fisted by your mama. And this kid is trying to run me over. Like, what else could go wrong here? I'm just tagging these kids with the combat shotgun from 30 meters away. 13. Like, I'm just using the combat shotgun as an AR at this point. I have no other gun. And I'm pretty much cooked. But just watch the rest of this gameplay in this fight to see what I do.
All right, guys, so here's where my Sigma Alpha Gaiat comes out. And I decide to push over to this car because he left it unattended. And I just destroy the hell out of this car with my pickaxe. I destroy it till it blows up because I'm not going to be doing my one chest challenge just to have some kid run me over with a car at the end. So now I uppercut into this guy, 360, and then I hit him for 14 damage and he's dead. What a nice shot, am I right? So now at this point in the game my thought process is killing these NPCs and using the forecast tower to my advantage would really help me win this game, but I don't even think I look at my map for the rest of the game if I'm being honest. So I totally forgot I even had the forecast tower, so getting this tower here was just a big waste of my time and health, and then I end up getting sniped at by who knows where, like a bullet flies past my face, right? I'm looking, don't see a soul. Where, where, who shot me, Casper the goddamn ghost? I don't think so, but I don't see the kid. So I end up popping this med kit, looking for him still. I'm like, where is he? Right? Don't find him. I see his footsteps. I still don't see him, right? Still don't see him. Grab the card. I get my little cute butt up there. Stick the card in the tower. Look at this. Stick it in real nice. Yeah, perfect. Perfect fit as well. All right. So then we push back down. Hit this kid for 21. Then I end up pushing to fight. Here's how the fight goes. So now I just finished this fight up, and I go in to push the next player. Now I thought this kid was a bot, but this kid was more real than my mom's BBL. So as you can see, this kid was actually pretty sweaty. He had me 1 HP, I heal up, get the dink on him, he's 1 HP, and I finish up that fight. So now we have a problem. This kid in front of me wants me dead, and he's playing like a complete maniac. But I'm not gonna let that slide. I hit him for 43, he retreats, but then he decides to push like, what is he doing? 71 on him, and then 29, and he's dead. Now we're in a 1v1 situation where I have 12 kills. And this is the kid that's mythic car I destroyed, so I know this kid is not gonna let me win easily. So I have to take this kid out. As you can see, he's still driving cars. Has he learned nothing from the mythic car explosion? Like, come on, buddy. I'm not going to turn into a Sigma Alpha guy yet for no reason to destroy your car. So he ends up hitting me for around 40 damage, and I'm at the health advantage. Now, he hits me for another 50, and I'm pretty much screwed at this point. I have to heal up fast. I sneak around the corner, and he doesn't even see me coming. I end up hitting him for his 96 blue. I fist into his box, and then I hit him for another 40 white, and then 72 white, and he ends up dying. And I end up claiming myself the victory royale. So... That is how I won the one chest challenge in Fortnite Battle Royale. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, ring the bell for post notifications, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.